meeting. And so I am happy to escape the madness. Uh, thankful to be here, you guys. Thankful to be with you. Thankful for LifeWave. Scott and I had this conversation today and we literally said to one another, it's so incredible that we have this opportunity. It's so incredible that we're making the type of money that we're making. It's so incredible that we're making the difference in people's lives That's that we're witnessing. And it's so incredible that we have this lifestyle where we can choose what we want. We can choose to have a house full of people. We can choose to have my mom live with us. We can choose, we can have all these options for choice. You know, it was the, the other day we were um, getting ready for today and Scott and I, it has not always been easy. I mean, you guys know, how many of you know it hasn't always been easy financially in life? And so um, we said, as we were picking up all the uh, bells and whistles and the, the food for today for Scott's family to come over, we said to each other, life is so much easier when you're not financially stressed. How many of you guys would agree with that? And I'm, I'm starting it with that because this is a business meeting tonight and we want to talk finances and we want to talk breakthrough in finances. And I want you to know that LifeWave is the breakthrough. <laughs> I want you to know LifeWave is the breakthrough. So it's up to you whether or not you choose to take it and run with it. Um, something that Scott said that was so interesting um, yesterday, he said, Renita, you know, with business aspect of this, and he loves business even more so than I love business, right? Cause he's a finance, he's a numbers guy. And so he said, uh, he said, what's so incredible is he's like, we're literally looking for the people. Like not everybody wants this lifestyle that we have. Here's the crazy thing. Here, here's the crazy thing about it all. Not everybody wants this kind of type of freedom, time, freedom, financial freedom, the freedom to care for their families, the freedom to homeschool their kids, the freedom to do what they want when they want. Not everybody wants this level of freedom because Scott said, it's almost like he said, imagine you're walking out into a group of people and everybody that's holding a red balloon is the person that wants the freedom. And they're all holding a red balloon. He said this to me, I thought it was so good. And he said, and we should just go to those people and help those people. He said, but instead there's all these other people that are holding black balloons because they love their day job and they don't know if they should do this. Is this another pyramid scheme? Like they're those types of people, right? And he said, why are we wasting our time with the black balloons? He said, there literally are the people holding the red balloons saying, pick me. I want this. I want to do this. I believe that this uh, business and this product is changing lives and can change my family's life financially. He said, we literally should be seeking out those people that are holding the red balloons. But instead, many times in business, how many of you can attest to this, that many times in business, you waste a lot of time on the black balloons. Do any of you waste any time on the black balloons? Raise your hand. Be honest if you do. And when I say waste time, I mean, they don't really want to do it. You're trying to talk them into it. You know, maybe you're saying, oh my gosh, like, you know, you've got, you know, 50 people underneath you already because I've continued to sponsor. So you're trying to like plead the case for them to work this business, but they're just not seeing it, right? And I said to Scott, you know, it's interesting. We should waste no time on those people. Knowing what we know now, we should be grabbing a hold of the hands with the people with the red balloon saying, I want this opportunity. Let's go. How do I need to refine this? How do I need to fine tune this? What should I do differently? Right? So I'm glad you guys are on tonight. It tells me that you're holding a red balloon. <laughs> Everybody who's on tonight, you got the red balloons and you're the one saying, Hey, I want the financial freedom that comes with this business. And we know it's real. So um, thanks for getting on. So that's why I, 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 he said that story to me two nights ago. And I thought, oh, that is so good. And you're right. We do waste time because we all know people that have potential, right? All of us. If we, we talk to that person, we're like, oh, they would just see it. If they would just get it, if they would just like understand it. But the truth is, is maybe they don't want to. Like I said, when I started, maybe they don't want the financial freedom. Maybe they just love their day job. And here's the truth. If they do love their day job, day job, Let's let them stay there because there are so few people that love their day job, right? So if they really are loving that day job, we want them to be there. We want them to be good stewards of where they're at. But for us, this business, this is it. This is it because we do want time freedom, financial freedom, the freedom to choose how we raise our children, the freedom to choose if we, if we, or if we don't take care of our aging parents, if we want to host an event with 30 people coming over, like that's all up to us, right? And so I'm, I, I'm prefacing that with you guys because I feel like this business um, literally could be for everybody, 
But for those that really see the value in these patches and have the heart to serve and love others and want to help a thousand people, 5,000 people, 10,000 people, you know, God gave me the vision of a million people. This is the ticket because knowing what David has coming down the pipeline with the next technology of phototherapy, wow, we all should be so excited that literally we know about this right now because on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, I talk to so many people, doctors. I talk to many, many doctors in a week's time that have no working knowledge, you guys, of phototherapy. None. Like they don't know. I mean, they know the vitamin D produces uh, you know, the body produces vitamin D from the sun, but that's about the extent of it. Most medical doctors training is not in phototherapy. So you'll find yourself many times educating your healthcare practitioner, which is a blessing that we get to do that, right? Everything is a blessing that we get to do it. So let's go. Um, for those of you who are brand new, if you're brand new on here tonight, welcome. We're so thankful you're here. I want to show you a couple key things that I think would bless your business. Um, if you've not been on one of these before, um, make sure that uh, you get a hold of this recording, review it again, and share it with people on your team. If you're sponsoring any new people, um, you know, it doesn't have to be right now, but down the road, if you start sponsoring and enrolling people, make sure they know about these resources that we're talking about tonight because they will bless your life. Okay, so I want you guys all to be blessed and know that you can have success. Now, remember, we talked about something over and over and over and that um, that system that we talked about over and over and over is what? It is when we talk to people with this business, we either answer questions with tools or testimonies. How many of you guys remember this? Tools or testimonies? That's what I want everybody answering with is tools or testimonies. So if you can't point to a tool or testimony, if you're trying to figure out some difficult answer, um, it may or may not be serving you because if you can't answer with a simple tool or testimony, remember, it's probably not going to be duplicated, right? So we've got to get to the point where we're able to answer with tools or testimony. So for those of you who have never been to thisisitteam.com, my Facebook is not letting me in right now. That's so hilarious. So we're going to pull it up a different way. Um, so I want you guys to go, if you have not part of the LifeWave Wellness Warriors group, I want you to get to LifeWave wellness warriors on Facebook and make sure that when you go to get into the group that you put your sponsor's name on there. Okay. Because people, Scott and I, honestly, we get about 200 to 300 requests a day and we don't let everybody in the group. And the reason we don't let everybody in the group is in a day's time, if you saw what Scott and I did from morning to night, you'd be like, Holy Moses, right? Truth is, is I don't want 5,000 other people from that are not on our team that I'm having to go to and answer repetitive questions for because they're not engaged in our weekly meetings or in our teachings and trainings, right? You can spend your time answering a whole lot of questions for people that are not on your team. And you might feel good about that initially, but eventually it'll get wearisome. And especially when it's not making a difference in your financial outcome. So here's my advice to you guys. If you are in the, the LifeWave Wellness Warriors group and you seem to be answering a whole lot of questions for everybody else and these people are not, not on your team, my advice to you would be uh, you got to get uh, to your team. And if you, you don't have a team, you say, I don't have a team, Renita. Then I'd say, well, you got to start growing a team because when you grow a team, you're going to realize I don't have uh, time to answer 18 questions a day of someone that could go simply find the answer that they're looking for, but they're just kind of, you know, in there just very quickly asking a quick question, looking for a quick answer. Leaders dig, leaders research. Leaders don't need to be spoon fed. That's what I know about the leaders of this uh, organization. So if you're going to This Is It team, that's where we're going right now. If you've not been there, thisisitteam.com. Yep, everybody with me on that one? Yep, someone says, yep, <laughs> yep. So I don't let, we don't let, my point is, is we don't let every single person into the group because when I, if I let every single person into the group, guess what happens? I'm answering a whole lot of questions from other people that are not on my team. Um, you know, they might be here today, gone tomorrow, but the bottom line is, is I want everybody to have their answers, but you know, some people need to talk to their sponsors. That's the truth. Some people need to talk to their sponsors. Okay. Get the answers from your sponsors. That's why your sponsor sponsored you. Okay, not just to make the 20 bucks or the 50 bucks or the 100 bucks. 
Go to your sponsor and your sponsor will help answer that question, okay? Sponsor is actually your first line of the person. Let's talk about that for a second. First line that you should go to. So like if you've been enrolled by somebody, that sponsor is supposed to be the first person that you go to to ask the question. Now, in some circumstances, you might say, listen, I passed my sponsor a long time ago in rank, in knowledge level. You know, my sponsor's kind of sitting, not doing much. That's okay. Then you should uh, reach one notch up from that. Okay, who sponsored your sponsor? Find that out. And then go to that person. And that person can definitely direct you and guide you. And then the next thing I want to tell you is make sure that you're using the tools given. Like this is it info. This is it team. Um, the Telegram channel, the Facebook groups, right? The app, all of those things. Can all of you in the chat, I'm going to get some feedback from you guys from the leaders here, name the app that all of you should have downloaded by now. That is the LifeWave app. Who knows the name of it? Type it in the group. A little interactive challenge going on. In touch. Good job, Angela. Woo! Good job, Danny Martin. In touch. Yeah, it's like, it's like a it's like a, a game of Jeopardy. Who who knows the answer the fastest and can type the fastest, right? In touch. Good job, Marianne. So for those brand new people on here, if you have not downloaded the In Touch app, I love the In Touch app because it has a really beautiful side by side of X39 and 49. It's got a presentation in there, and also you can um, enroll people really simply with the app. If you've never tried that, you can try it. Um, not customers, but brand partners can enroll really easily with the In Touch app got it what is the name of the lifewave corporate youtube channel who knows this one what is the name debbie martin's got it ah debbie you got fast on the fingers there debbie debbie's the winner on that one lifewave health and it's all together so there's no space perfect debbie yes marianne uh no no problem with the typo so lifewave health and it's all one word and that's over on YouTube, guys. So that is the YouTube LifeWave Corporate. It's got 1,200 videos on there. So if you're saying, I can't find any information, go to LifeWave Health on YouTube and start watching some of these 1,200 videos, okay? You got it. Next thing. So our Facebook group is called LifeWave Wellness Warriors. You all know that, LifeWave Wellness Warriors. Our upline, Stephen Gina Merritt, what is their Facebook group called? I'm really testing the wisdom tonight. Yeah, Debbie, you're the winner so far, bro. <laughs> she's got the answers and she's fast on the typing. So definitely, yeah, this is it, team on Facebook. So again, LifeWave Wellness Warriors is us. Now the difference, the major difference between those two channels, let me tell you the difference. If you're saying, why do I need to do both? Well, because knowledge is power. That's what I think. But uh, LifeWave Wellness Warriors, we're going to talk all of the patches on there. We're going to talk money. We're going to answer questions. Unless it gets really negative, then I delete it because generally the person that's getting really negative is not even on our team. I, I always just gets my goat when I go into the Facebook group and I see someone just ranting negative crap. And then I go search for them on my team and they're not even part of Scott and I's team. We've got about 40,000 people on our team. And they're not even on our team. You know what I do? Delete the post. It's like, go spew that somewhere else, right, guys? So you have to be able to protect your team. You've got to be able to. This is not a free-for-all. When people say, oh, you should help everyone. Tell me that when you have 40,000 people on your uh, on your team and you get, uh, you know, 100 text messages and 20 phone calls and eight Zooms a day. Tell me that you just want to go help and save Everybody and everybody else's team, I don't. I have no desire to do it anymore. Done. Like, cut it. Because a lot of those times, those people should be plugging into their upline or their upline's upline to get the questions answered, okay? So that's kind of the chain that you should go to. And if you don't get it there, then you can use the resources like the Facebook groups. How many of you know how to use the looking glass in our Facebook groups? It's also called, like, the search bar. Do you guys know? Thank you, Marianne. Search. You've got to become, do you know that sometimes when you guys ask me questions, I just go into the search bar and search? True story. So it's not like I'm so much smarter than you. I just know how to search for things really quickly. Okay. So what I do is I don't dwell on a problem long. I just go to the search bar. I search for the answers that I'm looking for. And then I move on. Okay. Um, 
something that I want to show you that's really gold. Do you guys remember a few weeks ago with maybe it was the millionaire mindset um, training that I gave where we talked about five, four, three, two, one with Mel Robbins. How many of you guys remember that? That Mel Robbins thing? Anybody? Mel, Rob Mel Robbins is uh, amazing. She's got a great following. She's kind of a life coach, um, really uh, amazing human being. But Mel Robbins has the most incredible post that she put up. Now I'm going to see if I can get it. My, my uh, computer is being really interesting tonight with uh, what it, what's going on here. So we'll see if I can pull it up. But Mel Robbins the other day had something on Facebook about um, be careful about who we're listening to. Be careful who we're letting speak into our lives. And so it got me kind of going this morning when I saw somebody in the Facebook group saying, I asked somebody in another Facebook group, I asked somebody in another Facebook group and this was their response. And so I always think to myself, you have got to have a little bit filtrate, better filtration system about you. You know what that means? That means like, I don't let everything into my energy field. Why? Is it bringing goodness? Is it going to help me or help others more? Or is it just simply crap or negativity, right? So for me, I really do a filter. I'm like, is it going to bring goodness? Did someone, is someone in a dire, is that a life or death situation where they need an answer? Okay. Do they pay for it? Like, you know, you got to ask these questions. Did I pay for it? Did I ask, right? Is it life or death? Well, if it's not one of those three things, then we have to ask ourselves why we're letting people in odd Facebook groups speak into our lives so deeply, right? That's concerning for me. That's called Parkinson's. Parkinson's is double-mindedness. Uh, people with Parkinson's have a difficult time making a decision because usually because of trauma, they let every, they want to get everybody's opinion. I want to get everybody's opinion before I make a decision. I'm like the opposite, opposite of a Parkinson's patient. I'm like, here's what I'm doing. Here's the resources I'm following. Here's why it works. Here's the results I've seen. Go, right? That's it. I don't uh, mess around with the BS from asking 17 Facebook groups what their thoughts are, okay? That's just not how I operate. And honestly, if you're operating like that, you're probably not having much business success or life success, to be, to be honest. So, but Mel Robbins had this wonderful thing where she's talking about in there that we've got to... Um, Filter and be careful that we don't let every single person speak into our lives. We got to ask ourselves if what's speaking into our lives, is it aligning with our goal? Okay, so if your goal is health, if your goal is financial freedom, right? If we're just going into, you know, asking everybody on social media what they think about network marketing, well, prepare to get a earful because a lot of people have tried network marketing and it hasn't worked because maybe they've been one foot in, one foot out. Maybe they've tried, you know, three businesses at the same time. Nothing's really worked. And so I always say, consider the source of who you're getting your information from. But Mel Robbins said, we've got to be so particular about who we let speak into our lives, especially when we're like running at a goal, right? So that's why I really trust this is it info and this is it team. So if you guys are not utilizing those two um, websites, I mean, that's first things first. If you've not uh, been educated about like this is it team and what's going on with the business aspect of it, we can go there right now. Um, and there's so much great information on there. There's all the recordings on there. Uh, everything literally is on there. It, this is it. Let me find it. Team. Here it is. Let me uh, screen, screen share so you guys can see. So this is the business aspect. If you're on here tonight, you're brand new and you're saying, I don't know where to find things. Okay. Well, we gave you a couple of resources so far, right? You got the Facebook groups. You got the app. You got the YouTube channel. And now you literally have a website that you can go to. You can watch This Is It 10-Step System. So what is this 10-step system that we're doing? Determine your why. My why is that, why should make you cry? Why are you doing this? Because if I couldn't do this, I couldn't be housing my mother at my house right now. If I wasn't doing LifeWave, I couldn't be homeschooling my kids right now. If I wasn't doing LifeWave, I couldn't do a lot of the things that Scott and I simply want and need to do at this point in our life. If we would be doing a typical job, where we'd have to go to work nine to five, we could not do 80%, maybe more, maybe closer to 90% of what we're doing right now. So our why, when I say time freedom, it really is time freedom. And life is more fun when you're making more money. Let me just say it. People say, oh, I can live simply. I can live simply too. Trust me, I, I do. I still dye my own hair, okay? I don't go to the hairstylist to get my hair colored. But the bottom line is, is life is more fun and less stressful when you have money, when you're making money. 
So why not you? Why not this opportunity? Why not LifeWave, right? Why not now? Why not now? Now's a good time to make money, right? It's interesting how the people of the world that really make a difference when there's a down economy, those people soar. Some people get caught up with, oh, the economy and everybody I talk to is broke. I don't talk to anybody that says that they don't have the money to buy these patches. I, I, it's not possible that I just hang out with an elite wealth group because I don't. You know, I've got 15,000 Facebook followers. They're not all wealthy. I got news for everybody, right? But it's interesting. People will afford what they want to afford. Have you guys noticed that? People will afford what they want to afford, okay? So I think sometimes we spend too much time on the person that doesn't want to afford the patches for their health, right? Do you guys do that? I, I pick up on that radar in two seconds. Let me give you an example. I got lots of life examples because I live this. I live everything I'm teaching you. I live it every day. Um, we had somebody at our house the other day and sweet person. And she told me that her father had a stroke. And I said, oh my gosh, your dad needs the patches. And then I, and, and she knows we do the patch business. This person has been to my house three, four, five times. Wonderful lady. I'll just tell you, she helps us clean our house. Okay. And so she, wonderful lady, wonderful. And I said to her, you know what? Um, she was telling me about her dad. And I said, oh my gosh, he needs the patches. And when she didn't lean in, like when if I'm offering, like I want to give this woman some patches to give to her dad with the stroke, right? And I said, oh my gosh, your dad needs the patches. I want to give you some patches to give to him. And if that be me and my father had a stroke, I'd be like, what do you got? Show it to me. Definitely let's try it. Like we're looking for things, right? But instead there was really like no response. It was kind of like, like that, like a shoulder shrug. So you know what I decided to do? Not give any patches. It's pretty simple in my world. See how I operate? You, this is, this is the game of pickleball. I hit to you, you hit back. We go back and forth, right? But if I'm hitting at you and you duck, guess what? I'm not wasting my money or time. You guys get it? And that is hard for some people to hear because you guys all want to save the planet. I want to save the planet too. But here's the difference. I want to save the planet with people who want to be saved. People who want to embrace the patches and they're holding it with their, like if someone wanted to give me something, you know what I would say? Yes. What's the address where I should, you know, where you should drop it off at? Do you want to bring them here or should I pick it up later from you? Like, how can I get my hands on this? Right. But when someone's ducking, then I don't further the conversation. So I think sometimes in our life, we think that that didn't work out talking to that one person, but it's not that it didn't work out. They were ducking. They were a black balloon, right? They weren't holding a red balloon. They weren't one of the ones that wanted the freedom. Do you guys get it? So my, my uh, advice is, my business advice is, be more mindful to identify that quicker, right? Don't waste so much time. The third meeting, the fifth Zoom. Oh, now I gave away 14 patches and they still haven't signed up yet. Come to that revelation quicker, right? Do you guys think that's good business advice? It's going to save you money. And it's going to save you heartache is what it's going to save. Because here's the deal. If they really wanted it, if they were the person that was really holding the red balloon that really wanted it, again, it's pickleball. I hit the ball to them. Wow. Can I, where can I get those patches? Can I get some today? I'm going to drop them off at my dad's. That's how that would have looked. And I said, let's walk into the office right now and grab those patches so you can take them to your dad today. Because I really think it's going to bless them. Right? You guys get it? Okay. That's huge right there. But my why is definitely freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom. When people say, why network marketing? Holy cow, because I have way more freedom than most people have in their lives. My doctor friends, my medical doctor friends tell me, Renita, I cannot believe the amount of freedom that you have. They, like the Leland Stillmans, the Lonnie Hermans, like the, my good fr doctor friends say, I want that freedom that you have because you get to take care of your aging parents. You get to travel, you get to homeschool your kids. You get to choose your schedule, right? You just do all these things. And so time freedom is really, uh, for me, it's the biggest thing. I mean, it's it's even with time freedom, though, you need the money freedom to come along with that. You have to be making enough money that the time freedom happens, right? Because eventually, if you're just making, you can't say I've got time freedom and you're making 200 bucks a week. You don't got that much time freedom, right? So like at a certain point, you've got to make the money. So set your goals, make commitments, build a list contact and invite. Let's talk about contact and invite. We have literally meetings every single day of the week between this is it team and the meetings that Scott and I do. We have, do you guys realize we have meetings every single day of the week? Like there is not a day 
that goes by that you couldn't invite somebody to a meeting. Okay. And for me, sometimes I don't just invite them to a meeting. I send them an old recorded Zoom. And here's a here's a secret I'd have. You guys ready? You ready for my secret? This is big. This is big time. I know some of the people that I send a Zoom recording to will not watch 50 minutes. I know they won't. Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. I just sent a Zoom recording out to a couple, uh, a couple people on my team and um, and they're busy. They're high rollers. They've got millions of followers, right? They're not gonna watch everything I send them. So you know what I say, say to them when I text them the link? This is how I do it. I say to them, you know what? I believe this video is going to really talk to you at 15 minutes. Just start it at 15 minutes and watch it as long as you can. Even if it's a minute, start it at 15, watch it till 16. And then you know what happens? They always do it. If I just send a video and say, let me know when you have time to watch it. Oh my God, forget about it. <laughs> right? But what I do is I get so specific. I find something. And, and the thing of it is, is I know what's in the video because I watch the video. I'm not the person that just send videos and haven't watched them. I watch them myself. So I know at 15 minutes, David Schmidt's talking about God and God codes and, and how we can tap into these God codes. And I know the person I'm talking to cares deeply about the, our father in heaven and they will love this God stuff that David's talking about. So instead of telling them to watch the whole, you know, hour with diamond and silk, I say, oh my gosh, you've got to catch this at 15 minutes when he starts talking about God, it will just bless you. And you know what they do? They always watch that little bit. Isn't that funny? Because it's so specific. You're not overwhelming them with an hour or 45 minutes or 30 minutes. They don't have time for that. Just say, just watch it at 15 minutes for two minutes and let me know what you think. And they always do it. That, that, that tip I just gave you is gold. Because what it's doing is it's not saying, oh, you don't got to watch it all. Sometimes they just need to hear one thing to move in this business, to move, to order the patches. How many of you know this? They just need to hear one. I've always said, we're professional belief builders. That's what I am. I'm a professional belief. I'm so good at it. I'm a great belief builder because I think to myself, what would I need to build my own belief to make a buying decision? What would I What would I need to make a, a, a decision to really build this business? What would I need to see to, to make a decision, right? So I start asking myself those questions and then I go to work to find the answers. And then when I have people that I'm dealing with, I'm like, oh, this person really likes the money. This person really likes God. This person really likes alternative modalities of healing. So then I find a video and I don't tell them, watch the whole video and let me know how it goes. Cheers. I say, start the video at 1330. It'll knock your socks on. Let me know after you watch two minutes what you thought. Do you guys do that right now? It's a great, it's a great business tip. If you're not doing it, start. And let me know if you get more traction, more captivation, because people are not overwhelmed then by long, hour-long videos that you're sending them, right? You guys all get it? Have any of you done that before? Are you guys do currently doing that? Unmute yourself and say, I'm, I mean, I'm doing that already. I'd love to hear if you're doing it, if it's working. Any of you doing it? Debbie, are you doing it? Not yet. Now she knows, right? Heidi, are you doing it? Ask to unmute. Oops, it's a lot easier. There you go. Are you yes. doing it yet? You are. Yep. Yeah. So you fine tune it on that that moment or those minutes where you think it'd be very valuable for them to hear that information, right? Yeah, because I know that'll grab them. And that's all we're trying to do is grab them, right? Because think about the world. There's so much. We're information overload, guys. Come on. Even us with LifeWave, we're information overload sometimes. And so if you can fine tune it, say, you know, and then part of that is, Heidi, it's kind of knowing who you're talking to, too, right? Like you have to kind of know your prospect or the person you're dealing with, because if you don't know like their temperament or what they, you know, you could send somebody, hey, watch it at uh, 47 minutes and it talks all about the money and they don't care about the money. That would be like the wrong thing to do, right? So you kind of have to have a little bit of working knowledge of the person you're visiting with, what you know kind of floats their boat. And then you have to be a little bit in touch with, like, because I still watch so many videos, right? And here's sometimes in, in my day, let me just say this. I don't sit like this. There's active listening and there's passive listening, right? Like some of you might be passive listening tonight. 
That's where you're just sitting back and maybe you're drinking a glass of wine while you're watching the Super Bowl with your right eye or something. But for me, uh, you know, I listen to a lot of things passively, which means I'll be getting ready in the bathroom in the morning. And while I'm putting my makeup on, while I'm in the shower, I literally keep things playing. I'm always got something going. And then when I hear a nugget, I run to my phone and I look, I hit the stop button. And I'm like, where are we at in the minutes on that? Okay, that's 1327. Okay. And a lot of times I screenshot it. I mean, this is why my camera reel is full. Scott's like, you got 200,000 videos. You got to delete them. Anyway, I screenshot it because I'm like, oh, 1327. I, I can't forget that number, right? Because it was just in that path of listening, I heard something that I knew, oh, that one person, because I've always got honey in the funnel. My life is honey in the funnel, honey in the funnel. You know what happens when you have honey in the funnel? Eventually that honey drifts down and you're sponsoring people. If you guys don't have honey in the funnel and you just have a drop of honey, one drop, one person, whether that person gets in or out is really not up to you. It's their decision. But when you just have one, you feel like it's a life or death hostage situation. <laughs> and if they don't get in, you're like, oh my God, the business doesn't work. I'm like, you need more honey in the funnel. <laughs> <laughs> right? You just can't have one drop, which is one person. I've got like 50. I'm constantly working on people. I have a rolling tally of the people I'm working on right now. And I don't just hard charge them, hard charge them, hard charge them, hard charge them. Like I'm thinking about a gal right now that needs to be in my business. And I did a Zoom with her. And now we came into the weekend and the Zoom was on Friday. And I'm uh, to refresh her memory, I'm going to go to her website because she owns a little shop like a, a storefront shop and I'm going to order something from her shop. So she sees that order to come through. And at that same time, I'm going to go into uh, messenger and send her some before and afters because in our hour long meeting we did on zoom, she said, I really want to focus on skincare. And I thought she was more so into health, but comes to find out, she says, I really want to focus on skincare. So what am I going to do? I'm going to go buy something from her shop just because I want it. Cause she's got this health shop. It's so cool. And then the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send over about two, three, four testimonies of before and after pictures. Get it, guys? See how I just fine-tuned all that? I just, it's like you're a sharpshooter, sharpshooter. Like I'm pulling it in. Like, what did she, what does she need to see? What does she need to hear? Again, I'm just stacking bricks to build the belief until they hit the buy button. Okay. Usually no people, no, no one ever really says a hard no. I, I don't know if I've really got hard no's from anybody ever. I Usually it's like not right now, right? If I've gotten any of those. And then I like to revisit those people. And the best way to revisit them is when they have a major change or crisis on social media. So on social media, if you see they got married, they had a baby, they lost their job, they lost a parent, uh, something happened. Something happened where they were like, maybe now they're ready to listen, right? And then I'll revisit that person. You know, if they just lost their job, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I might inbox and say, hey, I just noticed on social media you did this. Gosh, you were excellent at what you did. I can't believe you got let go. Um, you know, maybe it's time to take another look. Do you want to spend another five minutes discussing LifeWay? Right? See how that, see how I do that? So I'm kind of always like that on social media. That's how I work my social media platform. Um, they don't want the commercials. It's a great, it is. Awesome idea. Do you have that link of David and Silk? Eden, if you go to... Um, uh, what's the name of that, uh, uh, channel, not telegram. Come on. Rumble. If you go to rumble, R U M B L E rumble.com and just type in diamond and silk. You'll see the interview with David Schmidt and it is excellent. Okay. It is a thanks Marianne for posting it. Marianne. So high tech. Thank you, lady. Uh, rumble.com. There it is. She posted it in the comments. Thank you so much. So that's a little bit of how, of how I work my business with um, social media when I'm dealing with people. It's very much listening to where they're, they are. See, sometimes people, here's the problem with the script. This is the problem I have with the close, the closers and the script people. Because when I deal with people, I actually listen to what they're saying. And maybe that's what makes me so awesome at this business because I genuinely care. And I want to come into where if I see it's going to help and serve their business. And probably one of the best things I do, if you ask many people that I do Zoom meetings with, I say, tell me a little bit about your business. Tell me a little bit about what you guys do right now. Tell me a little bit about, uh, you know, how you're selling your products. You know, tell me a little bit about your practice that you have your chiropractic practice. Do you sell any products right now there? You know, tell me a little bit about, oh, you're a stay-at-home mom. Tell me a little bit about what happens in a day for you. 
You know, what is the motivation behind you wanting to get involved with a home-based business, right? Figure out what their why is because then you can feed it and then you can support it and encourage it and help it on the journey instead of just copying and pasting a link. Watch this, watch this. Here's my link, watch this. Who cares? People don't want to know how much you know until they know what you care, right? So find what fine tunes and what the sharpshooting is for them and then come at that with them on that that, you know what, I was listening to this meeting and I thought of you at 1320. Here's the link. I'm telling you, I believe that at 1320, it will speak to you. Give it a listen when you have just a minute and let me know your thoughts. Okay, you guys get that? Listen to what I said there. I thought of you at, God, that's good. That's so good with marketing right there. I thought mm -hmm. of you at. So you're listening to a recording. It's a Zoom meeting. It's a training. It's Steve and Gina. It's Renita. It's whatever. It's, it's Diamond and Silk. I thought of you at. And then you give them that specific number of the minutes of where you want them to go listen. First of all, people think, wow, you thought of me. Like this person's sitting around thinking of me. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's kind of shocking to some people. That's nice. That's a nice human being that does that, right? And so I thought of you at, all right, I have lots of tabs open. I love that. Yeah, I love that too, because you're really kind of um, pinpointing and fine tuning for specific for that person. Let's go back to um, this is it team again. So we're at that 10 step system. So again, I was just talking about contacting and inviting them. So I got hung up on there for a second because yeah, you could contact and invite them to every Zoom meeting because they're literally every night of the week, right? They're every night of the week. And then some, sometimes... I mean, for me on Wednesday nights or Tuesday nights or Thursday nights, I've got two, three, four Zoom meetings back to back in the evening hours. It's unbelievable. And so, um, but maybe people don't have 45 minutes or 50 minutes or even 30. Maybe they just need, I thought of you at 1540. Would you please listen to this at 1540 and tell me if it speaks to you? I just believe it will. Maybe they need that. You guys got it? Huge marketing tip. Okay. And you know what? They're going to get back to and they're going to say, wow, I didn't know this company was about that. I love this. So today, um, the gal that has millions of followers, and I said, listen to this video at this. She usually never listens to the video right after. And I know she's really into anti-aging. This is another gal, not the same one that owns the store. I sent back to her the picture of the guy that had been on with the, the bags that had been on like whatever, 11 months of the X39 that I posted. So right after the 15, I said, hey, start this at 15 minutes. I believe it will speak to you. She, I knew she listened because she said, uh, gave me a heart of it and said, wow. And then right after that, it was called the jab uppercut. And then I posted the picture of the guy with the bags. And then she's like, and I said, we've got to get our husbands on this. And she said, because her husband needs it, because I see him. And, uh, and I know he needs it. And she said, you can say that again. And so, boom, you see how I went in there like a sharpshooter, knowing exactly who I was talking to and what she needed to hear. Can you guys get really good at that? You'll become prolific nonstop enrollers forever if you get good at that skill that I just said. Instead of saying, well, this is how I always do it. I got news for you. Like the best thing that Onyx Cole said, which was never in this business, but in the business 15 years ago with Monavi, she, I never will forget on its cool. The best speech she ever gave, the best all-time speech of all time, is she said, if you are working your business and you are not having the results that you're look, look, uh, looking for, she said, shift gears. And then she said, and if that doesn't work, shift again. I just remember her standing on stage with her long limbs, shifting and shifting and shifting. She, would, she made this like physical sign that you're, you were like shifting something. She said, some people sit and they do the same thing, same things, and then they don't have results. And then they go, ah, oh, that didn't work. Have they tried anything else? She said, it's like you're shifting gears in a vehicle. She said, just keep shifting, shifting, shifting until you find the gear that works for you. And I feel like more people need to hear that message because sometimes they try one thing and maybe it works, maybe it doesn't work, maybe it works for a little while and then it stops working. Do you know I am in my mind constantly saying, how can I uh, get more effective at this? How can I get better at this? I am never caught in a rut in my business. Like, you know how I talk about uh, the, the book, Switch on Your Brain, Dr. Carolyn Leaf? 
I don't have any problems with cotton rut syndrome over here. Like I'm constantly every morning waking up saying to Scott, you know what, we should try this. You know what, how about this? Like I'm very flexible with my mind of how this thing can work and can go. And then every once in a while, I find a sweet spot. I call it the flow. How many of you know when you're in the flow? Boy, I know when I'm in the flow. When I, if I'm in the flow, sometimes if I'm in the flow, I say to Scott, I can't do anything else. You got to take the rest of the meetings for the day. I just have to sponsor people because by 9 a.m. I had sponsored three. And then by the end of the day, I sponsored eight because it was a flow day for me where I'm just in that flow of it's an energy. It's literally an energy of saying the right thing and doing the right thing. And like, and it's a, like, it's a positive energy that you just are exuding. People are picking up on it and it just works. Some people, have you guys ever read the book um, Seasons? Uh, the Seasons of Change of Business by Jim Rohn. Have any of you read that book? Unmute yourself if you have. The Seasons of Change of Business by Jim Rohn. Holy cow. Summer, spring, summer, fall, winter, spring. He talks about the four stages in your business. And he said sometimes when people are in a winter season in their business, it doesn't mean that they're massively enrolling. So don't get frustrated that you're not massively enrolling when you're in a winter season of your business. He said, because in a winter season, you're supposed to be reading and growing. That's so good. He said, you should be growing and listening and learning and kind of building that inner person, right? Building your belief, building your education or knowledge about your product. And he said, so, but sometimes people, It'll, he said, if they're in a winter season, they're like, oh, the business isn't working. It isn't working. It isn't working because they're not massively enrolling. And he says, do you know that in a winter season, you're not supposed to be massively enrolling? In a winter season in your business, God is giving you a break for you to grow yourself. Good stuff. So he talks about that in the winter season. So I, in my network marketing career, I've never been like, oh, we shouldn't do this anymore. It doesn't work. I'm, <laughs> I've read the seasons of change by Jim Rohn too many times. And I just know that like, you know what? I got to be in a winter season. You know what I mean? And that means when I'm in a winter season, it doesn't mean sit around and watch Jeopardy. That means go get my nose to the grindstone and learn and grow, get closer to the fire. Go listen to some David Schmidt. Go listen to some other people, how they're sharing and growing their business. I listen to other lines all the time. You know, I'm committed to this as a team because that's my upline. But sometimes I listen to Dr. Stacy. Sometimes I listen to Dr. John Harmon. Sometimes I listen to different people, Dr. Karen can. I like to see what they're putting out there, right? I like to hear what they're, how they're promoting their business and growing their business. And sometimes, many times, I take away just like a nugget or two from their presentations. I'm like, I like that. I'm going to use that, right? Do you guys do the same thing? Um, and so that's a winter season. But in a spring season of your business is plant, 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 plant. That's the time where you planted so many seeds and you're like, I don't know why they're not enrolling. <laughs> and it's because it's a spring season. In a spring season, you were planting. And what you got to do in a spring season is you got to keep building the belief. You got to send that video, video, watch this at 14 minutes and 30 seconds. You got to send that before and after picture. It's undeniable. Wow, these results are amazing, right? You got to send over those things because in a spring season, what do you do in spring? Not only do you plant, okay, you're making sure the plant, you put the tops out, making sure the birds don't come in and get them, right? Like, like the old scripture verse talks about. And then in summer, Summer is where the action really gets fun, where the lights are shining. You're talking about other people's testimonies, like you're bringing all this stuff into the mix. And all of a sudden, one day you wake up and it's fall, it's harvest. And you're like, holy cow, I just enrolled four people today at once. You know why? Because literally it's like when he talked about, you guys all got to read the book. It's a little tiny book. I think it's only like 110 pages. You'll get through it probably in an hour and a half. And it'll probably want to be one of the best business books to keep your resolve strong in network marketing. It'd be a book that you want to recommend to your team, but it always has given me great hope and inspiration that when I'm going through a season where I feel like I can't enroll people, I had that. I came out of Aruba when I was in Aruba the day I got home that week, I enrolled nine people. I just was super uh, an energy magnet at that point. And then I got home and it kind of got a little rough again. Uh, just with the transition of coming back to home and then my mom coming back into the house because she had been staying with my brother and then just, you know, life, right? Life. We all have life happening. And um, and so and then I couldn't enroll for a little bit. Like my energy was just a little bit sapped. Right. I was kind of came off that mountain. And um, but instead of saying, oh, it's not working, 
I just thought to myself, okay, you know, this, I feel like I'm really like in a, in a spring season where I just need to continue to plant. I need to continue to do the next right thing, right? Not be so worried about the outcome always, right? Just keep doing the right thing with these people. And then it was really crazy about uh, a week ago, Scott goes, how did you enroll six people like this week? Who did you, who were you, how were you talking to those people? I said, yeah, like back in January. And he said, you're kidding. I said, no, I've just been talking to them a little bit ever since. You know, every time I thought something, they'd come to mind, I'd give them a little nudge or a little info or a little love. And then, and then I would just kind of let it go again. And then he said, wow. And they all kind of hit the same week. I said, yeah, because it's a harvest season again. And when you're in a harvest season, you go. <laughs> the harvest seasons are the time to reap the harvest. You got to go and you got to talk and you got to move and groove with those um, seeds that you planted um, and revisit the old seeds that you planted is my advice. Revisit the seeds that you planted maybe even a year ago. I get people coming into my business now that I talked to a year ago about this patch. And they didn't get started last year, but they got started this week. Right, guys? So see how that works. But the seasons of change of business by Jim Rohn, it'll change your life. And you'll never feel again in network marketing like it's not working because you'll identify the season that you're in. And just because we're in a winter season, like in North Dakota right now, we're actually in a winter season. It's freaking cold here. Just because you're in a winter physical season doesn't mean in your business you're in a winter season. It has no correlation with the actual, you know, temperature seasons. Okay. It's like the seasons that you're going through as a business owner. Okay. Um, anyway, packing the snowball. I love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, Rhonda Esslinger, I just had a lady come back to me after a year and a half. Sometimes people wait until it's really, really, really good and they see what you're happening. They they didn't know if you were going to have success. They didn't know if you were going to stick with it. That happened to me this week with two people, two heavy, heavy hitters that I sponsored right when I started. And these people have done absolutely nothing other than been on ownership, which was an excellent business decision. So one of my talk to, I said, you got 2 million points sitting there. I said, that's $150,000. She's like, what? I said, yeah. I said, are you, she's like, I want to build this. I want to build this. She's like, I want to put my son in first. I'm like, okay, let's go. That's what we did. We put Bowen first. And so, but the bottom line is, is they were watching you. They were watching to see if you were going to keep talking about it. If you were going to stick with it, if the results were going to continue, if the money was going to happen, they were waiting. Um, the author's name is Jim Rohn. Here, let me find it on my Facebook. I can't, I can't find, I can't pull up Facebook tonight for some reason on my computer. It's being a little bit shoddy, but I can pull up Jim Rohn, The Seasons of Change. Let me show it to you. I'll get, I'll show you guys the cover to so make sure you get it right. Seasons. Gosh, Jim Rohn, just a, such an inspirational guy. Here it is. Screen share. So I just Google it here. Let's just watch it for a second. Let's watch it for a second, guys. There's the actual book. So there's a book, The Seasons of Change, I'd have to write book. If I wrote Jim Rohn, R-O-H-N, Seasons of Change book, it'll pull up that. But let's watch the short video, him talking about the seasons of change. Okay, life is like the seasons of, life is like the changing of seasons. Let's listen to this four minute one. I'll, give me a thumbs up if my sound is on, okay? You cannot change the seasons, but you can change. And see, that's how life gets better for you. Not by chance, but by change. Now, here's the four major lessons in life to learn. Number one, learn how to handle the winters. That's lesson one. They come right after falls with regularity. Some are long and some are short and some are hard and some are easy, but they keep coming. You must learn to handle the nights. They come right after days. You must learn to handle difficulty. It comes right after opportunity. You must learn to handle recessions. They always follow progressions for the last 6,000. See, it isn't going to change. The lesson you must learn is how to handle it. And there's all kinds of winters, right? The winter when you can't figure it out. The winter when it all goes smash. The winter when it turns belly up. 
the winter when it won't work, when you've run out of money and you've got a broken heart. See, those are winter times. There's all kinds, economic winters, social winters, personal winters. When your heart is smashed in a thousand pieces and the nights are unusually long, your prayers seem to go no higher than your head. It's winter time. Barbara Streisand sings, it used to be so natural to talk about forever, but used to be's don't count anymore. They just lay on the floor till we sweep them away. You don't sing me love songs, and you don't say you need me, and you don't bring me flowers anymore. A song of winter. But see, the disappointments come. Those are normal. That's part of life. But the question is, how do you handle it? How do you handle the coming winters and the disappointments and the downtimes? Well, you can't get rid of January by tearing it off the calendar. But here's what you can do. You can get stronger, you can get wiser, and you can get better. The winters won't change, but you can. And that's how life changes for you. See, before I understood when it was winter, I used to wish it was summer. I didn't understand. When it was hard, I used to wish it was easy. I didn't know. And then Mr. Schof gave me a part of his very unique philosophy when he said, don't wish it was easier, wish you were better. See, that triggered my whole life change. Don't wish for less problems, wish for more skills. Don't wish for less challenge, wish for more wisdom. That's the key. I mean, the book is so good. And that was not even what I thought it was going to be. But if you go to that same thing that I just showed you here on the share screen, let me go back. There's going to be other specific to business, but he's right. Basically, the winter season is where you have a choice. You can either get under it or you can get after it. And so he talks about like from a business standpoint, growth, start educating yourself. When you're in a winter, get stronger, get better, get wiser, get faster. Like that's what, that's what that season is for. Right. So Jim Rowan season, there's lots of good ones, right? He's, oh, here's the book. This is the book, but I'm not going to play this whole thing. It's 14 minutes long, but that's how it looks. The seasons of life. Jim Rowan, do you see it? And how it has the trees up there, summer, winter. Can you see that? Welcome to Dream Rise, the channel where we explore. The point is, it's a, it's a book. It's so good. You, you got to watch it. The Seasons of Change. Jim Rohn, read it. I think it's probably like eight bucks on Amazon. True story. It's so little and so good. But it will give you great, um, great wisdom, great inspiration to know. Sometimes I actually say out loud to myself, you know what? I'm going to quit pushing like a crazy dog because I'm actually in a winter season. Like I know it, right? Like if I'm going, if I'm going three weeks without sponsoring a single person, that's abnormal for me. And that's like, okay, God, God's got me kind of in a winter season for a second to do something else. And that might be to grow myself, right? Or to to take care of my family a little more thorough or whatever I'm doing. So I never, I never waste a winter season anymore. Like I used to just wish it was summer in my business. And now I'm like, no, God gives me those moments of reprieve for a reason, right guys? Um, so anyway, that is, that's good wisdom. That's good stuff. If you've never read it, have any of you read it? The book? Anyone in the whole group? Wow. Yeah, that's a classic. That's a classic network marketing kind of book. And um, Jim Rohn is a, just a classic. He's just, he's a rock solid. I like that his name is Jim Rohn because my maiden name is Rohn. <laughs> R-H-O-N-E. Renita Rohn Brennan. Not related to the Jim Rohn, R-O-H-N. But uh, anyway, he, uh, He's got so much good stuff. If you've never listened to Jim Rohn, like when I first started network marketing, I'm talking 16 years ago, I would go to YouTube and type in Jim Rohn and I would listen to everything this guy taught. Oh, strengthening my results, strengthening the sauce, strengthening, strengthening, strengthening. I mean, I just would go strengthen myself with his wisdom. And in fact, he is the one that talks um, a lot. He not only talks about the seasons of change, but he talks about that the birds got him. And the biblical wisdom of like when you plant a seed, it says in the Bible, some of the seeds blow away. Some of the seeds, he, he talked about how when you plant a seed or you invite somebody to a meeting and then they never show up and they're like, oh, I couldn't come. The screen door broke or, you know, something, something crazy like that. And he's like, and then he said, 
he said, or you plant a seed and then they call me back and say, my sister-in-law said I shouldn't do this business. And he's like, oh, the birds got him. Because <laughs> that's the scripture verse where it talks about the birds get some of the people, uh, the, some of the seed, right? And so he does this whole teaching on the seed and how when you plant a seed, not every seed is planted in good fertile soil and it will reap a harvest, right? Sometimes the birds get them. Sometimes the wind is things. Sometimes the thorns, the, the thor it's in thorny ground. So it doesn't produce, right? And so anyway, he has great wisdom on that as well. And I, I remember the first time I heard that teaching because I thought, gosh, you know, every seed that you plant should be just be a harvest. And it's not true. It doesn't always work like that. But I tell you what, with LifeWave, I have had honestly more seeds harvested than any other opportunity Scott and I have ever been part of. Not even close. You know, in other opportunities you present, maybe they get on board, maybe they went. Here, I would say it's 99% of the time people are getting started, at least to be just consumers of the path, right, guys? They're just, they're like, okay, I need the patch, you know, clearly, um, even if it's not for the business aspect of it, but it's been greater than any other uh, network marketing opportunity Scott and I have been part of. And I think it's the uniqueness of the patch. I think it's the miracle of the patch and how it works so well for so many people. Um, but I tell you what, knowing what I just said, it is a season and a time to plant because you will reap a harvest if you're planting enough. Again, the honey in the funnel. If you put one drop in the in the funnel and you're waiting for that honey to get down and to come off the bottom, boy, that becomes a long wait for some of you, okay? But if you've got 10 drops, 15 drops of honey in the funnel, eventually it just goes boop, 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 and it's not a big deal if one doesn't drop out, right? Whereas if you're just dealing with one person and that one person falls through, it's a massive deal. My sister-in-law didn't do it, right? Who cares, right? And so I encourage you guys to make sure that you're always having honey in that funnel. Always be planting seeds. Always be watering seeds. Always being sun sunshine on seeds. And when the harvest time is ready, when it's a fall season, all of a sudden you'll be like, what just happened? I sponsored four people in a day. It's wild, right? And that's because it's literally like all of that is like, like coming to fruition for you. So anyway, any other questions? There's four new messages. Let me read them. So yeah, this is it team. If you guys have not been to this is it team. Let's see here. I do the same thing for people I download that I know would benefit from something on a training call that I don't see them on. In my notes, I write down what time in the call. Yes, Sherry Ellingson. Thank you. I write in my notes what she heard that she knows will benefit somebody on her team. Once it's posted, she forwards that video to her team and says, "You, they were speaking to you at five minutes, 26 seconds. Did you hear it? <laughs> right? And when you get that specific, people listen. Um, no hosting fee is a great point for networkers too. Yeah. I mean, everything about LifeWave, it, hands in, I mean, I, nothing even comes close. Like, listen, I mean, I get approached every day. I mean, every day. And, and that's a prime example. I got people on my team that are joining this network, that network, another network. And I'm like, if you're not going to, I got news for everybody. It's never just the network. Do you guys know that? People think it's going to be the, oh, I'm going to have success with the next one or the next one or the next one. And I'm here to tell you that I have left every one of my network marketing businesses previous because I lost not focus because I have tremendous, tremendous amount of focus and all that I do, but I lost belief in leadership. And when I saw the leadership heading south and being uh, awful, I couldn't align with that anymore. I was not going to stand there and lie. That's not who I am. You know, some people stay in these network marketing companies and they have these products that have gross ingredients like Splenda, right? Sucralose. Yeah. Good luck selling that, right? You're giving everybody stomach cancer. Great job. And so like, or people that have products that have folic acid, garbage, with people that have the MTHFR gene. We only want folate. We only want folate, right? Well, methylfolate. And so the bottom line is, it's really interesting when I have people say to me, oh, I'm trying this, I'm dabbling in that. Again, I got to protect the flock and I got to protect our business because if people would be laser focused with their own business, read the book of Seasons of Change, do the income producing activities like number five, inviting them to Zooms or sending over a Zoom at an exact time, you would have great successes in this business. But I don't know if it's hyper ADHD in people or I, I just know some people are always searching for the next best thing. And I'm like, no, we got the next best thing because you know why? We got David Schmidt, 
<laughs> and that guy, if there is a next best thing, he created it. Okay. Cause I know his technology. I'm witnessing it. I'm part of it. And um, I, I see what he has going on behind the scenes and it's, it's actually unbelievable like that we get to be part of this. So we feel blessed and highly favored. Any other questions? I'm going to continue doing Thursday and Sunday Zooms for a bit. I know that that my dates ended. It looks like it ends. I have to go into my Zoom room and elongate the dates because, you know, when you set those Zoom links up, they're only good for like, I don't know what, eight or 12 weeks or whatever it is. And I think it must be coming to the end of that. So it looks like it's going to end soon. So I'll just go in there and I'll push that out. I'll do them as long as people are inviting guests onto them. I don't feel like I need people to get on anymore by themselves. Like if you're getting on to strengthen your belief, I'm going to give it to you. Good job. But your real primary goal is to get a guest on. You know what I mean? To have a guest on. And and I even say to people, you know what? I'm If you can't get a guest on, I mean, I, here's the thing. I believe that most people can get guests on. You, If you'd say something like, listen, remember I talked to you about those patches. I'd love to give you like, uh, you know, a three-day sample of these patches, but would you do me a favor? Yeah, 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 yeah. What do you need me to do? Would you just hop on this meeting? I told this lady, Renita, that I was going to get a guest on this meeting. And would you be my guest tonight? I'll give you three patches, no problem. Would you just get on? Even if you get on for five minutes, would you get on? They're going to say yes to you, right? For men, use the word would. Here's a, here's a marketing tip. I learned this from the guy who did the talk. Men, uh, men are from Mars. Women are from Venus. Men operate better with the word would. Would you do this? Women operate better when you say the word could. Could you do this? You guys know that tip? Good tip. Would and could. Would is for men. Could is for women. And so when you present a question to those people, ask the women, could could you do this? And women want, women are very servant oriented by nature. So most women will be like, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can get on that for five minutes for you. No problem. And the truth is they'll get on for longer than five minutes if they get on a Zoom meeting, right? But you're just getting them on is what you're doing. And then for a man, you'd say, you know what? I want to give you three days or five days worth of patches, but would you do me a favor? I really need a favor. Would you do it for me? Would you do it for me? And let them say yes and say, you know, I've got this Zoom meeting tonight and I told my friend Renita that I'm going to have a guest on. Would you please be my guest? Just hop on for five to 10 minutes of this thing. And they're going to say, yeah, sure. Yeah. Send me the link. Right. Would and could. I, I took a three hour a course one night from men are from Mars and men are from Venus from that guy. And he talked about would and could. And that was my takeaway from the whole event <laughs> that when I talked to women, I should say, could you do this? And when I talked to men, I should say, would you do this? And something with their neurological makeup, I don't know how it is it makes them respond better to what, whatever it is that you're asking. So interesting, I thought. So anyway. Renita, can I say something? Yes. Um, and the reason it? why I really, really, really want to encourage you to keep doing these Zooms is because I'm just getting my business going with now a few leaders underneath me. And they yeah. just recently said, I don't know how to get on the Zooms. I, I Help me. And I agree. Sometimes just getting started, you don't know how to. So this is what I'm creating. I don't know if you can see this, but, you know, our cute little envelopes that have, um, you know, our cute little cards in them. Yeah. I went to Vista Print and I just took a screenshot. I don't know if you can see this of yeah. our meetings. Oh, good job. Front. Can you mm -hmm. see that? And yep, then yep. on the back and I, even at the bottom, this is why I wanted to know is I've got to get on the Zooms with Renita Brannon. <laughs> Thursday yeah. and Sunday night. I, I plan on continuing to do them. You know what I mean? I, like, I have no reason to stop at this point. I like that. I like our schedule on Sunday and Wednesday and Thursday. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like, you know what? If I, if I would get on here, I'd be like, if I can take away one or two or three nuggets and go apply mm -hmm. to my week and make my business more efficient or make my speech better, um, I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? And so, and I don't know if you That's guys awesome. feel the same way. If you're like learning one or two or three nuggets, that you're like, I'm going to try that. You know, sometimes in sales, it's, it's just that it's like kind of the verbiage, even like how you're like, feel felt found. I know how you feel. I felt the same way. What I found is right. That's a the whole Jim Rohn thing, that whole thing right there, you know? Um, but Heidi, yeah, I love what you did and how you're putting the meetings in the envelope. Yeah. Then they could put it on their, on their refrigerator and on the back is a health tracker form. That's the back of it. I just, the back a is a health shot. tracker. Oh, good for you. Yeah. Perfect. So anyway, so but if you keep doing those, on zooms, I'm going to keep bringing them. Okay, I'll can you put you. that? Can you put what you made in the Facebook group? I'll try. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can you do that. You know what I mean? Like, can you take a? Can you? Can you do? You know, there's got to be a way to do that, right? I'm not as tech savvy. 
Um, so can out. you I'm an entrepreneur. go in there? <laughs> yeah, you're an entrepreneur. I can figure it out, right? Like I always say to Scott, we're entrepreneurs. We can figure it out, can't we? Like when he says, I don't know how to do that. I'm like, can't we figure it out? Can't we Google it or something? My God, you can fix the furnace by a YouTube video. Like <laughs> we should be able to figure this out, right guys? So yeah, put that in there, Heidi. I think that's a great idea to have actually the calendar on there. And then also you, you'd be shocked how much a little nudge five to 10 minutes before the event goes. You'd be shocked. Some people that, you know, they maybe had it in their mind to do it, get on, whatever. And then they forget because, hey, people are busy. Are you guys busy? I'm busy. I've got kids. I've got lots of stuff going on in my house. It's a lot. And so uh, sometimes I just need someone to say, hey, remember, Renita, do you remember? In fact, I, I love that when I do Zooms for people and they're like, hey, Renita, I'll see you in 10 minutes. I'm like, I love you for texting me that. Just a good little reminder, a good little nudge, right? So you guys doing that, hey, I can't wait to see your smiley face on the Zoom in five minutes. Send them the link via text. That's It's stuff like that that will grow your business right there. I mean, just a little nugget like that. Sometimes we just put something in. I, I like the idea of the calendar, right, Heidi? But sometimes, you know, I gave you that little calendar and we talked earlier today about you getting on that Zoom meeting. I can't wait to see you uh, on the Zoom meeting in five minutes. Here's the link again, just in case you lost it. Text it to them, right? Because no matter where they're at, if they're sitting on the pot, you know, they can push the Zoom link. Seriously, they're sitting in the car waiting to pick their kids up from basketball practice. They can click on the Zoom link if they have it right there. Here's the thing. Eliminate the path of resistance for people. That's a huge That's a huge marketing thing because people are busy. They're either too busy or they're too lazy. And most people are a combination of both. I always say I'm lazy in things that I don't really want to do. Okay. And I'm too busy a lot of times for a lot of other things. Right. But again, people afford what they want to afford. They get on what they want to do. They find time for what they want to find time for, right? We know this guys, right? So at the end of the day, I'm encouraging you guys that little nugget of just like, Hey, hit them up one more time, five minutes before the meeting with that zoom link and say, Hey, I wanted to make it really easy for you. Just, just in case I know you're picking your kids up from basketball. Here's the zoom link again. So you can sit and uh, watch this zoom while you're waiting in line or whatever. You know what I mean? When you do things like that, people respond because they know you care instead of just mass blanketing it, right? Mass blanketing stuff, it doesn't really work well for me. So Heidi, thanks for sharing that nugget. I love your envelope. And I love your little calendar. And, and yeah, my, my Zoom meetings are not changing. I just need to go in there and push them out because I know, it, like I said, when I look at it, it says, oh, it's ending, but it's not really ending. I just need to, uh, Zoom is interesting like that. It gives you like eight or 12 weeks. And then like, basically, if you don't go in there, push back the date, it's like it's done, but you can elongate it. So any other questions or answers, you guys? I've been making small frame graphics that give reminders to use the patches when people can't remember. I think I'm going to get some magnets made. I, everybody at my wedding got a magnet. That was our gift that we gave people was a magnet. I'm going to get a cool magnet made. That's going to be a good idea, right? I'm going to figure that out, and I'll let you know how that looks. That's cheap. Uh, thanks for all it. Yep. Okay, you got it. I love it. Debbie, I love you, lady. I think Debbie, Debbie, am I having a meeting with you tomorrow morning at, oh, tomorrow night at six. Somebody else is at 10 tomorrow morning. I gotta look at my schedule. I haven't checked it out. I got so much going on here at the house today with all these people at my house. So, hey, that's it. May the Lord bless you, keep you in China's face upon you. Who won the Super Bowl? I don't even know. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I do not care. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Because we're winning in life wave. That's why. Yeah, that's how I feel. I'm winning in life and I'm winning in the life wave. I don't really care who wins the Super Bowl. True story. I think it's over because I don't really hear it on anymore, but I don't even know who won. So whatever. Either way, it's fine. Oh, it's tied? Somebody said it's tied. No, 19 to 16. 19 to 16. Who won? Oh, it's still on maybe. All right. I'm going to let you guys go. Have a great night. This is it, team.com. Be sure to catch the training on the 24th of February. It's going to be with Scott talking all about finances and tax deduction type stuff. So you're not going to, that's on This Is It team on the Saturday training. It's going to be him and I on the 24th, but it's going to be mostly Scott actually talking all business. So if you have teammates that don't understand tax benefits or maybe they're W-2 paid employees and they just want to be, you know, have a home-based business for additional tax benefits, make sure that they get on February 24th, This Is It meeting. Okay, that's that Saturday meeting because Scott's going to be doing it. It's going to be awesome. All right. God bless you. Thank you, Heidi. Let me know how it goes with the, all the great stuff you have in the works. I know about it. I'm watching, waiting to hear good responses. Have a great night, you guys. May the Lord bless you. 
keep you and shine his face upon you all the days of your life and be gracious to you. Have a great night. Thanks for hopping on. Go watch Jim Rohn and get the book. Get the book. Seasons of change. Bye. Bye.